it stressed me out dramatically to the point where my grades slipped and I wasn't focusing on school, I was focusing on what people were going to say that day. It was heartbreaking. We send our kids to school thinking that our kids are going to be safe and come to find out my son was being bullied, being tormented in school. It hurt tremendously as a parent to see he couldn't enjoy what he was supposed to be enjoying in school. It's suffocating. Cyberbullying is just like a giant cloud over your head. You can't, you can't leave it. It's always following you. With social media, it's not just one person that sees it. It's thousands. It's hundreds of thousands. It's never erased. I laid in my bed and read through all the comments and was like, oh, this person hates me. Oh, this person hates me. Wow, look what they're saying about me. And I couldn't help but, you know, it made me more depressed. It made me more willing and wanting to kill myself. Iowa common sense tells us that every child in Iowa deserves to go to school each and every day in a safe and respectful learning environment. They deserve a classroom and a community that allows them to grow and flourish, not live in fear of when the bully will strike again. It's important that we show that we care and that as a state that we're doing all we can to make sure we have policies in place to assure students and their families that they're going to get the help they deserve. I think it's important for um, all children, no matter what age in the state, to know that they have an ally in their governor and first lady. You can make a difference. You can be a part of stopping that and making sure that students have a safe environment to learn in. The Capitol has this one chance to fight for those who can't fight for themselves, for those who are not strong enough to fight for themselves. You can be the change. Bottom line is this, is that it's so important to implement this particular bill in order to save lives. This is the year that we stand up to the bully. We can't wait any longer. Please join Lieutenant Governor Reynolds, my wife Chris, and me in standing up against bullying. Let's end bullying in Iowa. And bullying in Iowa. And bullying in Iowa. And bullying in Iowa. Let's end bullying in Iowa. Let's end bullying in Iowa. Let's end bullying in Iowa.